Hi there, thank you for joining us for another edition of the CEO's blog. I'm Amanda Rando and I'm sitting here with Harness Racing New South Wales boss John Dumasey. Welcome. Pleasure to be back. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, we've got a lot happening in this edition, but let's kick off with talking about the Indigenous Drivers Series, which starts at Wagga tomorrow night. Yeah, which will cul culminate in the uh, JC Caff and Plate at Menangle on, I think it's uh, Sunday, October 28th. But, uh, some great races, very well supported by the trainers, uh, to the extent that we've been able to divide the races and have have other drivers in, not in the series, but uh, yeah, the Indigenous drivers are there. They'll travel around the state. They'll, they'll go to parks and then Newcastle and come back for the for the um, the big finale at um, Menangle on, um, as I said, Sunday, October 28. Yeah, the the JC Cuffin plays. I think it's in its eighth year. Wow! Yeah, I wouldn't believe that. And and last year, um, Club Menangle, very well done to um, uh, Michael Brown, Bruce Christensen, and and the rest of the guys out there. Last year, they won a state award with Clubs New South Wales for uh, their promotion of the Indigenous series. So um, it's very well um, received. It's it's tremendously well supported by CARI, um, uh, the um, Aboriginal Employment Organisation, and um, it's, it's you know, one of those things that keep growing. Um, um, I'm sure Uncle Ivan will be there again this year to uh, do his smoking ceremony at uh, Menangle, but they, the supporting clubs, they certainly become involved, and the Indigenous communities around, you know, Wagga and Parks and Newcastle are invited to come along and um, take in harness racing um, in its purest form. Most definitely. Uh, talking about things that have grown in, in recent years, we've, we have the Group 3 Canola Cup uh, this Monday at Ugarra, which kicks off the Tab Carnival of Cups for this new season. And, and keeps growing. You, mm. You're correct, Amanda. They're um, fantastic field this year. and. Um, uh, it was it was the right way to do it, the insightful way to do it. What this is for Australian bred horses. Uh, mm -hmm. The Canola Cup was the first step to go towards Australian bred horses. Of course, what we've introduced now is for all our Tab Carnival Cups meetings, they're for Australian bred horses. We we really need to and must support the Australian breeding industry. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, we're, we're talking about a, a few meetings throughout the year where it's only for Australian bred horses. Of course, the reward series is also for Australian bred horses, but it. it if we don't um, uh, support our breeders and and wanting to breed um, Australian bred horses, well, you know, we're, we're, we're being deficient there. So, um, but the Canola Cup, Lexus of pa Parramatta Canola Cup, great race, um, uh, very even field. Um, who ends up favourite, I'm not sure. Um, Amanda Turnbull has a couple of horses in there, um, uh, but um, we'll see. And it's a great program, eight races, yeah. Monday, everybody should be at Ugarra. Yeah, it's strong racing. Uh, you touched on it uh, just before, John, about with the Carnival of Cups and, and um, going forward, those race meetings being for Australian bred horses. Is that for every race on the program? No, or it's not actually. Because um, we, we must also protect our, our open class horses. People have made um, investments in these horses and they're long term investments. So uh, above C5, uh, they can be New Zealand imported horses, of course, but um, it's about protecting that bread and butter race. Mm. Some of those horses have got very short uh, career opportunities, um, so that's where we are with it. Okay. All right, let's move on and talk about drought assistance, John. Where is Harness Race in New South Wales with that? Well, um, when I was last here, we, we made the announcement that uh, the board had put in place um, two tranches of uh, drought assistance, um, two different strategies, both um, focused on, on, on the transport mm -hmm. of mares, in one respect, to studs out of drought areas into areas where there is no drought. Uh, there's very l few areas in New South Wales like that, but there are areas um, around the Wagga district and Yurubi Stud have been very much on board. I, I understand um, a, a Calderwood Farm, Josh Blunt, he, he's, his farm's not in the drought area. So if you have, you're, if you're in a drought area and you need to transport a horse there, Harness Racing New South Wales will uh, help you with that um, with that transport, and of course, um, Yerby Stud uh, uh, is is fully behind it. Um, Rob and Die there, um, give them a call, give us a call, and we'll work that out. Alabar Stud, of course, in Victoria, they're there as well as 
but um, that's one part. The other part is with feed. Now, I must be quite clear, um, we're not looking retrospectively. We introduced this on the 1st of September. Uh, the board voted on it and, and, and voted correctly uh, at their August board meeting. It's not res retrospective. That doesn't mean you shouldn't ask us questions, but still, um, it goes from the 1st of September, it's a, but it's, it's the, the, the cost of the transport of the feed, not the feed itself. So. Um, but um, already the uh, applications are flowing in. We're dealing with them as quickly as we can. We just need the information and uh, it's all, all, all to flow through. Okay. And the board will review this from time to time. We'd love to see um, after Monday, because the canola cups on, plenty of rain in New South Wales yeah. and the drought break. But yeah. um, of course, um, we don't know when it's going to happen. It's, it's, yeah. it's, there are people out there in dire, um, situations and we're here to help where we can. Okay, and all, all these are in, well, incentives are sort of kicked in September one, weren't they? Didn't yes, yeah. as, as I said, the board board in August um, seriously looked at it. It had been looking at it for a, for a while. It wasn't mm -hmm. something they just spur at the moment. Mm -hmm. They were we were doing the research and we were aware um, that there are people in very um, dire predicaments in the drought affected areas. Mm -hmm. So um, we're we're doing what we can. Okay, well, talking about drought, we're still watching the green colours going around at Menangle. Yes, um, I think it's one more meeting. Mm -hmm. um, yes. uh, fantastic effort by the club, matched by the tab. I believe it's $11,000 they've uh, raised for drought drought assistance in, in whichever way they, they choose to um, push that money out. But um, one more meeting. Um, what we're looking for, uh, eight, eight or nine races there on Saturday night, and number six win every one, and that'll just cost them a little bit more. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, before I let you go, uh, October's just around the corner, which means so is the Harness Race in New South Wales Awards Night. Yes, and everybody should be there. Uh, I'm, I'm getting really excited about these awards night. I'm starting to see, uh, uh, which I'll keep a secret, by the way, who the winners are. Oh. Um, there's been some feelers out there, so the club has been invited along to to the uh, awards night. I would suggest they just about turn up. <laughs> um, but in other respects... It's um, uh, one of the clubs that's, now. Yeah, it's probably well, ringing me, just yeah. making sure what I said was right. But still, um, it's our night. It's, it's, it's where we congratulate the winners, where we come together to celebrate those winners. Whether we win or not, we all industry participants, if they can make it, the clubs, the trainers and drivers, the associations should be represented at our awards night. So um, the Sofitel Wentworth Sydney, great venue, mm. Saturday the 27th of uh, October, and of course enrol over into the, the Fishers Ghost meeting at okay. Club Menangle. Yeah, well there you have it, lock it in your diaries. All right, John, it's great to have you back. Uh, have you got anything else for this edition? No, I'll save some for next week, Amanda. Right. All right, we'll look forward to it.